Hey everybody, Grim Chorizo here, and welcome back to Wrestling Roundup, the show where I give you this week's wrestling news, rumors, and recap. Filming in a different location from now on. Uh, not that you guys can tell, because I use a green screen anyways, but it's pretty nice. Got a lot more room in here. So anyways, let's get started with Raw. Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns teamed up, and they defeated Cesaro and Sheamus in a tag team match. Chris Jericho, Seth Rollins, and Braun Strowman teamed up to defeat The New Day. Goldberg and Brock Lesnar had a uh, face-to-face. Of course, there was a bunch of security guards blocking their way, but they both took their shirts off and it was kind of awkward. And to close out Raw, Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan were there. Team Raw came out, and then Team SmackDown came through the crowd. Uh, they basically blasted each other with promos and then started brawling, and it was a great way to end Raw. Over on SmackDown, it was the 900th episode, uh, and they started the night out with the Intercontinental title. The Miz defeated Dolph Ziggler to become the new Intercontinental Champion. I didn't see that coming, but Miz is a six-time Intercontinental Champion. Kalisto defeated Oni Lorcan from NXT in a very quick match. During a match between Carmella and Nikki Bella, Team Raw showed up, and the women of Team Raw and Team SmackDown faced off, had a brawl, and Team SmackDown stood tall. Edge hosted the Cutting Edge with the men's team of Team SmackDown for Survivor Series, and then The Undertaker came out and basically said that Team SmackDown better win or he's gonna take their souls or something. But Undertaker basically did say that he is no longer going to let WrestleMania define him, and he'll be on the SmackDown roster. Obviously not every week, probably not even every month, but he is going to be around more often, probably for one farewell run up until WrestleMania or something like that, but I think that that is pretty awesome. It was great to see Edge and Undertaker again. Uh, so the winner of this week goes to SmackDown. I mean, they just had a great show. I know it was their 900th episode, which kind of helped, but they had a great Intercontinental title match between Ziggler and Miz, a surprising change, a uh, title change. They had legends like The Undertaker and Edge return and used them in a way that put over the new guys and built up Survivor Series. You had Team Raw show up and uh, have a nice brawl with Team SmackDown. Uh, you had a, you know, random NXT guy kind of show up, which was kind of neat. They uh, had the tag team. Uh, Survivor Series team get to look strong, so I thought SmackDown was really good. Uh, Raw kind of just focused on the same story for all their teams. All the teams just can't get along. They hate each other, which I get. That's kind of the point. And yeah, Team SmackDown, AJ doesn't like Dean. Uh, you know, Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton are kind of like a team, but Orton probably doesn't like Bray and all this. But on Raw, the story is everything. It's like, well, Reigns and Rollins, they like are kind of okay, and Owens and Rollins hate each other, and Charlotte and Sasha, they hate each other, and all, and Enzo and Cass and Gallus and Anderson, they hate each other, and all this. So basically, the whole night on Raw was teammates fighting other teams. Like, it was just, the whole story of Team Raw is that they don't get along. Well, on SmackDown, they showed that the tag team team does get along. They showed that the women can put aside their differences for the good of the group. And I think that it just, they could, that was a big reason why SmackDown won, and they just put on a better show. So now Miz is Intercontinental Champion, so at Survivor Series, instead of it being Dolph Ziggler versus Sami Zayn, it will be the Miz versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental title. This coming week, WWE premieres 205 Live, the WWE Cruiserweight show that will be on the network. Rumor has it that Emma, who will be going by Emma Lena, uh, might be debuting after Survivor Series on Raw. So thanks for watching this week's episode of Wrestling Roundup. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next week. Be sure to check out my Survivor Series and NXT TakeOver Toronto predictions, also here on The Vortex. See you guys later. Damn.